Open Heavens Daily Devotional, October 3, 2023. Topic. Benefits of Righteousness, Part 1. Memorize. Psalm 37 25. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Read. Deuteronomy 28 1 14. 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee, and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. 3. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. 4. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. 5. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. 6. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. 7. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, they shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. 8. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou setst thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. 9. The Lord shall establish thee in holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. 10. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. 11. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. 12. The Lord shall open unto thee as good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. 14. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand, or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. Message. Isaiah 3.10 says it shall be well with the righteous because there are certain guaranteed blessings that righteous people enjoy. One of them is in Psalm 34.17, the righteous cry, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles, when you are living a life of holiness. Any time you cry to God, he would answer you speedily. This is as opposed to Isaiah 59 1 and 2, which says that it's people's sins that prevent God from hearing them. David said clearly in Psalm 66 18, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. If you really want God to start hearing your prayers, then you must begin to live holy henceforth. The blessings attached to living holy are numerous, as seen in today's Bible text and memory verse. The children of righteous people are God's responsibility, he takes care of their needs himself. King David shared his observation about this in today's memory verse. The children of the righteous don't have to depend on anybody to survive, God himself makes sure that they don't lack anything. This means that the best legacy and inheritance you can leave for your children is a holy lifestyle. This is so because God will ensure that they never lack. A classic illustration is in, 1 Kings 11 11 and 12. David was a man after God's heart, and God preserved his son, Solomon because of this. It is better, however, to teach your children to live holy themselves even when you have gone to be with the Lord, so that their own children too will enjoy the preservation of the Lord. Thou hast loved righteousness, and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows, Hebrews 1 9. Pursue righteousness and hate iniquity, so that you would see the manifestation of God's glory upon your life and all that concerns you. Action Point. Make holiness your lifestyle.
Don't forget to share today's message with your loved ones of via WhatsApp and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of Open Heaven Daily Devotional every morning.